I moved from Nairobi to Addis Ababa COVID test. If I don't travel this evening, I'll be subjected to another COVID test. I go to Tanzania, COVID test. Uganda, COVID test. Your nose will begin debating with you. In the United States of America, you take one COVID test from Miami and you don't take it as you go to St. Louis in Missouri. You, I'm talking about very practical things. I come here and I have to go through an immigration. Uh, kumacha guru na kuruwa lero waluwa maulire agentisa era agenako <tipos> ombaka wa serere kaunte onarebo patriki o kabe o kabe ne mchala we <tipos> bafiri dewo mbulaga mkabenje akagude Echile chikese za machagona kuruwa lero. Reports ziraga. Nti akabe njaka nukagudewo kucharo chiba itobe chitundu chiba ita naboa. Ini budaka districti kusawa ziba denga emu ne chitundu after the official vehicle registration number UBK Luenda Chenda. Hmm? UBK Luenda Chenda Mutano F in which umbaka wa paramenti was traveling uh, bako raidinze head chibata head to head ne fuso lore fuso abera bide kona gabwe baga matona rebo patrick died on spot wairo mchala we adusidwa mu mbare rifaro hospital where she was rushed after sustaining chibata feto injuries ne nakakasiwa Yaba gamba yaba dea suze mchalo Abada afuga ayingira chibuga kampala kumachanyo yeah. Namba yubike luenda chenda mutano F When my sparrows they confound Chitaro nyo chitaro dada basibu nebanyabo Gamba biba de mchitundu bachita Kamonko Kamonko Trading Center Eh uh, uh, uh. Chitaro nyo Chitaro dara Mbaka wa parliament Patrick Okabe Okuwa maserele district Wa babanga mena ya alipubi nyo 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 uh, But of course ditos tuja kuongiro kuzino onya Mpuliriza um, na ego genka kasa nti ombaka wa paramenti Basebo neba nyabo uh, Mbaka wa paramenti ye uh, Chama zima Chitaro nyo chitaro dara. Uh, chitaro nyo chitaro dara. Ate basebo neba nyabo bubenje bubabu bubabu unji nyo. Mubisera vya desemba. Uh, Narebe na kabenja kalala. Basu ya ingi demoto kei chika chafuda. Ampliriza Unawe sunu kubango tumbu de Gemauli raga genako Gemazo konfami inga wano
Kudiriza till we meet again. Okay, mauli ragu wetu tandikide mbade ngeza kuwa nukupa kwa ugundi ya badaya gara nkonektinge uh, na ye And the question therefore what would we do continentally in terms of trade in 1980 under the Lagos plan of action and some of you have been ambassadors some of you uh, you are now serving cabinet ministers you will grapple with this on a daily basis under the Lagos plan of action Africa sat down in Lagos and said we are going to improve trade amongst ourselves 1980 Lagos plan of action did we do it no we did not do it we did not do it because the European Union was instead engaging us under the African Caribbean, the Lomé Convention of 1975, or the Cotonou Convention of 2000. Africa remains the only continent which is described as Anglophone. So in Kenya or Uganda, we are possibly only 20% speak the English language, we are Anglophone. In French, former French colonies, they are Francophone. In former Portuguese colonies, they are Lusophone. In some Arab countries, they are Arabophone. That is who we are. So, when the OAU met in 2013, they asked the question, what happened to the Pan-African spirit? And when, therefore, they met in Sirte, in Libya, under the tutelage at that time of Muammar al-Gaddafi, it was resolved in 1999 that the OAU be renamed and be referred to as the African Union, and it was relaunched, launched, as you know, in Durban, South Africa in the year 2000. But one of the most important things on the, in the 20, uh, 2013 was the speech of the then chairman of the OAU Council, Kosazan Adlamidi Zuma, here in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. And I want you to read that letter, which I'll paraphrase in which she writes an imaginary letter to Kwame Nkrumah. He tells and apologizes to Kwame, telling Kwame, we apologize to you because we did not listen to you. We are weak because we did not listen to you. We are divided into 54, 55, depending on whether the Moroccans agree that Saharawi is a country. Nobody cares about us. And brothers and sisters, if you want to know how weak we are, and we are weak, look at how we are treated. Last month, the world met in New York. The General Assembly. When African heads of states and government are speaking, the hall is empty. Nobody bothers because they are saying nothing. And even if they are saying something, it is something that can be ignored. Compare when an African head of state and government is speaking and when the Prime Minister of Little Israel is speaking. They will listen because we are weak and disunited. So we have a weak continent because the spirit of Pan-Africanism disappeared. So the question that we can ask, 
What is the state of Pan-Africanism as we speak today? The African Union, which is weak, says the right things and does the wrong things nine out of ten times. And what are the critical areas in which we are weak? We are weak politically. Because nobody listens to us. On the third day of March, 1900, on the sixth day of March, 1997, Mwalimu Julius Kambarage of Tanzania speaking in Accra, Ghana on the occasion of the 40th, 40th anniversary of the independence of Ghana said, the speech is entitled, We Unite or We Perish. And Mwalimu says, I want to apologize to Kwame Nukuruma. Those of us who believed in gradualism who are wrong, Nkrumah was right. But Nkrumah also did not appreciate the level of suspicion that existed amongst the leaders at that time. Our generation, he says, fought for the liberation of Africa. It is the duty of the new generation to carry the torch forward. He says in his plea, he says that I do not believe that the tribe can be the basis of mobilization in Africa. And he said that as I travel along across the world, people do not care about our Tanzanianness or our 